Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Fernandinho to review today. Um, we have a very interesting card in all fairness because Fernandinho is a type of player that every single year, if he gets any sort of upgrade, he could potentially make a very, very good CDM. So we're going to be taking a look at this card. We're looking at a card that is 5'10", with medium high work rates, right footed, 3 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot. So right off the bat guys, you look at the stats of this card for base card stats and he already looks really good because you obviously strictly see him being used as a CDM specifically next to someone that's tall obviously like he's five foot ten which is a decent height but someone like Lauren Blanc next to him would be really nice like imagine Fernandinho in the left center defensive position with that four star weak foot with Lauren Blanc in the right center defensive position um you know being the right footed player could be an interesting variable to consider there um in regards to specific stats, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at 80 acceleration with 75 sprint speed. He has good defensive stats already. His dribbling stats are actually kind of solid, and his physicality is actually kind of solid too. So I think, and obviously a lot of people may or may not agree with this, I think a shadow still makes the most sense for this card. And we're going to be trying him out on the basic chemistry style because we want to see what I'd like the most, because maybe an anchor could be good too. Who knows, right? Because his acceleration at 80 is not that bad. You know, if you were to give him um, an anchor chemistry style for the plus five for acceleration, plus five for sprint speed, but you know, he's staying back while attacking, it could be an interesting variable to consider there, especially since you're giving him the physical boost as well as the defensive boost, all that good stuff, right? But a shadow chemistry style gives him a 95 acceleration with 85 sprint speed, which is obviously very, very helpful for defending in regards to pushing up, coming back. Like, what if he does end up attacking, right? And he does come back really quickly. Now, the cool thing that I like about this card is the fact that he's 76 attacking positioning. So it already basically screams out, stay back while attacking, cover center on this card. It screams it out. Um, we're going to be trying out some different stuff. We obviously want to try him out on balanced first because I want to see what he's like with the pressure on heavy touch on medium high work rates with the 88 stamina, right? So... We're just going to go ahead and use him with the basic stats. So you can see that it gives him sprint speed, a little bit of agility, ball control, dribbling, all that fun stuff. So I think that the basic is still going to make him feel kind of nice in game, in all fairness. Um, I do want to see what his dribbling is like in game, because if his reactions is 99, I feel like it's going to be pretty responsive for a CDM. So I want to show you guys how I'm going to line up with him, right? So we're going to go ahead and use the 4 2 3 one as we normally do but we're going to go ahead and have it on pressure on heavy touch with the offensive style offensive style i can actually use whatever i normally use pressure on heavy touch is gonna be very interesting with this card though um and then we're gonna have oh let's see how we're gonna do this we're gonna go ahead and have fred in the cam position because you know he could play there if he really needs to we're gonna be using fernandinho i would say in the right center defensive position first yeah, that's how we're going to do that. We're going to use him in the right center defensive position first with the instructions of cup passing lanes with his interceptions could be very interesting to try out. I will try that out on cup passing lanes first. No stay back while attacking because we want to see what he's like pushing up, coming back, all that fun stuff. And then we're going to have Laurent Blanc just be on balance. Just make sure that he's on stay back while attacking car center, but Fernandinho to be on balance. Now, I don't think Fernandinho is going to attack that much on balance. I really don't think he's going to be an attacking oriented player. A very huge example of a box-to-box -box player, right? Sometimes even medium-high players can be box-to-box, -box, depending on the characteristics of the card. Like, I feel like Ferlin Mendy's pretty good at box-to-box, uh, -a, -box, a shapeshifter's card. With this card at medium-high, and because of his attacking positioning being at 76, I really feel like... It's a stay back while attacking card. You know what I'm saying? Like I, maybe potentially with the stay back while attacking, cut pass lane, cover center, all that fun stuff. With Lauren Blanc being on stay back while attacking, cover center, because I love Lauren Blanc, Blanc on those instructions. Um, could be a very interesting variable to try out. So we're going to get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully he's pretty decent. You know what's funny is that this year he actually feels taller in game because sometimes when it came to previous years, I don't know if you guys felt the same way with this, but with Fernandinho's card, he actually didn't feel like he was 5'10". He felt shorter in the actual game, but you can obviously see that with this card, um, 
he actually looks like he's 5'10". And you could also see that in that position with the balance instructions, he doesn't aggressively push into that empty space like someone like Lauren Blanc will do in that position, right? Like you see how Lauren Blanc instantly utilized that empty space right there. Fernandinho is not going to be that guy. So he's just going to be mostly a defensive presence, which he's doing okay with so far because I like his positioning right there. You could see he's kind of occupying that middle really nicely. And his dribbling isn't as responsive as I thought it would be. I thought it would be a little bit more responsive, but it still, it still makes a little sense to the stats that he has, if that makes any sense. See, a little bit of aggression. Not too much, though. Not too much. If I go over here, he goes back into position. See? So, again, this is definitely going to be a card where you want to strictly use stay back while attacking cover center with, because he's just going to be that type of dude for sure. His positioning when I'm losing the ball in the attacking area is actually really nice too, especially since he's on balance instructions as well. I feel like on stay back while attacking, it'll be beneficial for sure. Yeah, even in that situation right there, he just won't, he won't push into that area. It's interesting because on balance instructions, he still plays like a stay back while attacking player because there's some players I tell him to stay back while attacking because they're a little bit attacking oriented. They still utilize that space instantly, but with Fernandinho's card, he just kind of like lingers there a little bit. Again, see? Doesn't aggressively push forward. He always stays in that general position. So in regards to using this card, guys, as a center mid, um, I don't know. For me personally, I wouldn't do it. You need players like Kimmich to play in that center mid position. Really good box-to-box -box players that want to attack, but also want to equally defend just as much. I don't think Fred's gonna, uh, Fernandinho's gonna be that type of guy, right, as a center mid, because again, he's very, very defensive oriented. His low attacking positioning, it, it makes sense in game. Like you can definitely see that he doesn't aggressively push forward like at all, right? Like even in that situation right here, like he will not utilize that empty space. The one that Fred just utilized right there, he doesn't go into it at all. Which again, not an issue. I care about his defensive presence more than anything. And you can see that his transitioning left and right is actually pretty solid. So we're going to go ahead and defend this guy at the bottom. Keep this midfield area right here. Nice uh, L trigger shield. Get to the ball there. Still holds possession really well. Intercepts the ball really nicely. Yeah, it just feels like a pretty a pretty good generic CDM, if that makes any sense. Like, nothing special. Like, dude, I'm telling you, like, when you use someone like Lauren Blanc, for some reason, like, that guy just stands out in a team in the CDM position. Like, I don't feel like Fernandinho is on that level, but he's still going to be a good CDM to have. What I actually want to test out because I was testing him out as a lone CDM for just for that one, uh, is next game, we're going to be using him in a 4-2-3-1, and I actually want to switch the two CDM positions, have him play the way that I normally play, where he's actually on cut passing lanes with Lauren Blanc on say back while attacking, but Lauren Blanc will be on the right side with Fernandinho on the left side there. Lauren Blanc kind of pushed up a little bit, but Fernandinho was still positioned really well there in that CDM uh, mid-area mid position, you know? See how he kind of lingers in that same area as well? Lauren Blanc on the right side, Fernandinho on the left side. Still goes for that cut, pass, cut passing lane. He seems like the cut passing lane type player. That's why I put it on him instantly. Again, I don't feel this thing instantly. Like, when you use someone like Lauren Blanc, you can instantly feel that this guy is an amazing presence in your CDM position. And you definitely don't feel that with Fernandinho. And to be honest, Fernandinho has always felt like that. He just feels like an incredibly usable CDM in that position. Just doesn't feel, like, amazing like Lauren Blanc, you know? Nice goal right there. Had to make some switches uh, here and there in regards to off-the-ball movement because I was using, like, Fred as a cam, which isn't ideal. I put Bruno, Bruno Fernandes as a cam with, uh, I think, Mani on the right side. Helped out a little bit there in regards to off-the-ball movement. But, um, yeah, man, with Fernandinho so far, guys, like, he, he definitely feels usable, right? Um, I, it may not be, like, a like a like an opinion people like, but I, I just feel like he's very generic, you know? Like, there's certain rare gold cards that I can get that would feel... Like, they're making more of a difference in him. Like, I like his positioning a lot, but he's not really feel like he's contributing as much as someone like, for, uh, like as someone as Blanc. 
Like, I know I keep saying that, but, like, I, I really want to see what his price is to kind of value him in that way. Because so far in regards to just in-game quality, he just feels very generic. Like, a very usable CDM that's not terrible, but not necessarily, like, oh my god, amazing, you know? All right, guys, so final verdict on Fernandinho's card. Uh, let me check out a few things here, okay? Let me just check out a few things here. I really... Okay, in regards to pace, I didn't feel like it was, like, a huge thing that I really needed for me to really try out the card in regards to defensive ability. Um, he positions himself really nicely in the defensive area in the midfield. Uh, it just feels like he's not really doing anything, if that makes any sense. Like, it kind of feels... Like, he's a pylon in the team. I don't know. Maybe it's because, like, I'm relating him to, like, someone like Laurent Blanc. But, like, I've used a lot of midfielders that really show their presence on the field. And the, th the strange thing about this, right, is that Fernandinho has always felt like this for me. Like, I've never really liked the card because he's always felt like this for me. Like, every time I use him in a CDM position, he just doesn't really, f he doesn't really feel that great, you know? And it's a very strange thing. It's I have this with, like, with, like a few cards. Um... I just, I just, I don't know. It just doesn't really work for me. If you give this card a shadow and you give him the 95 acceleration, 85 sprint speed and defensive stat increases, you should be looking at essentially a really good card. But have you, I mean, like I've used CDMs that don't have basic, but they just feel so good with their own characteristics, the way they position themselves and all that kind of stuff. Regardless of cut passing lanes or without cut passing lanes, I still felt like he wasn't really doing much. Like, he was marking really well, but when it came to, like, the actual defensive work, like, when I had to select him to do tackles and stuff, I didn't... I personally didn't like it. And it's a little surprising and not surprising, you know? Because, like I said, Fernandinho has always kind of felt like this for me, but it's also, like, a matter of, like, he does have decent stats. It should perform a little better in-game, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. What can you do? That's how I feel about the card. If you guys have them, I would recommend selling it. My boy over here actually wanted to sell the card, so uh, more more of a reason to do so, you know? More of a reason to do so. So th thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.